both of your position on a new water treatment plant, and how do you propose that we pay for it? Uh, it's necessary for it to be built. Uh, we need to pay for it with budget cuts. Cuts, cuts, cuts. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, we need to uh, shorten up the, uh, we need to make the city of Austin more flexible. Uh, like that job I mentioned a while ago. That could be a 1099 job. That could be a job that somebody could do on the weekends or in the afternoons for our students. Uh, it doesn't have to be a full-time position with all the benefits and everything else that goes along with it. Uh, social donation fundraising. Uh, business, business fundraising. And yes, maybe even hire family users. Uh, Mr. Yes? Sorry. I thought it was a two-part question. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, it was, uh, do we need, uh, what's your position on the new water treatment plant, and how do we pay? Okay, yeah. um, well, first of all, there are two different, let's make it, let's differentiate. There is a water plant that supplies you with water, and there's a wastewater plant that uh, takes care of anything that, that is waste. Um, do we have to have it? Absolutely. Uh, we don't have a choice. It has been mandated through government regulations that we have to rebuild. We can't rebuild on the current property. We can't spend a lot of money fixing the current plan. Uh, they, the government, will not allow us to do that. So we don't have a choice. We have to. And we will be re rebuilding that plan. And I believe it will be finished in two years. Uh, the forest main that Mr. Builder talked about will affect District 6 the most in that it will be, uh, it will help alleviate uh, problems with wastewater overflows in District 6. Um, how do we pay for it? Um, Mr. Wheeler has talked, uh, and, and I admire his stance uh, on cutting, 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 and cutting more. Uh, but my first question to Mr. Wheeler would be, you're an employee of the city and you've talked about cutting. What's your next job when we cut yours? Um, <laughs> and, I, and I'm not being disrespectful, but, but every decision that we as a council make has repercussions and it has, and it, it affects people in many different ways. Um, we are very fiscally responsible as a, as a council. We have worked very hard. We have not raised your taxes. If anybody in this room could tell me the last time we raised your taxes, I would love for you to stand up and educate me and everybody else in the room. We have worked hard to have a balanced budget because we have to. We need to. And to do that, we have to have funding from other sources, and most of that can come from the people who come here, come in here, they don't necessarily pay for services, which I mean by uh, driving on your roads that you're paying for, uh, using, stopping at red lights, or if they have a wreck and emergency services have to come out. You're paying for those in your taxes every day. And so the easiest way, the best way to pay for a new water treatment plant and the new force main which is approximately $55 million, is going to be by passing a SPLOST. We could raise your taxes. We could raise your user fees. But the best way to do it is to let those people that come in and swell the population of this city on a daily basis help pay for that anywhere from 30 to 60 percent of that money will come from them. So that's how we will solve that problem. Mr. Miller? We're talking about the, uh, the, the waste, waste and water treatment. Yes, a new, uh, new water treatment plant and however we will pay for it. A new water treatment plant? Uh, the question says a waste treatment uh, for the water treatment plant. Uh, these are come from the audience. So. I think they mean waste. Yes, I'm sure. I because we, I mean, we have a state-of-the-art water. Uh, I, I didn't know of any issues with the water. Um, as I said a while ago, the, you know, the, I believe the, 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 it's mandated. We've got to do it. I don't, um, I don't see any other way but to do it. Um, I, I think you know, for the city, it's cool to be able. Uh, as far as paying for it, um, a, a, a lot of the arguments 
somebody like um, I heard John Gale the other day, Mayor John Gale, say the other day that 52% of the money comes from outside of our area. Uh, if you read online about uh, what Mr. Wood was talking about, they're saying that not included in that is cell phone taxes, um, you know, for cell phone. That doesn't matter. Uh, we need to pass the squads. That's how it needs to be paid for. If it doesn't happen that way, then what we'll do 